Hello everybody, Microbricks here and today I will review my Ant-Man lab mock. Starting with the outside of the building, I built a curved entrance with the storefront pieces, which is only one of many different building techniques I used in this mock. Next I want to mention this is not the final mock. There are many details I, want, I would like to add, like um, build a wall here, or even around the whole mark. Um, but for now, it's enough. Over here at the corner, I built a stand for the old Ant-Man suit we got in 2015, and showcased him in this mark. I also included, right next to the hung-up suit, a table full of accessories. I included a wine bottle, a milkshake, and a hot dog. I also included my custom built um, shrinking the lodging stars. Let's see if I can get a focus on them. There we go. So, red one is shrinking, blue is enlarging. These are Ant Man's primary weapons. We can see them in Ant Man and Civil War. So, those were custom built. And. Here I also included the red shrinking container full of red shrinking pin particles that I got from the Quantum Realm Explorer set. And here I have the blue one um, for the enlargement particles that I also custom built. Moving on to the corner or the edge of the table, I included um, my own lamp here. Let's see if I can get a focus on that. There we go. So that's a very easy five part build lamp and here comes the things that i'm probably the most proud of in this build this is my ant container so that's what i'm gonna call it or my ant thing here see i i printed wait let's, let's see if you can see it says what it says on here see it says fire ant there we go so see I printed a picture with showing all the containers for the different ants and I just cut this one out and cut this exactly the right size of the of this translucent piece here and stuck it inside and taped it so it won't fall off and this is my ant container I just did a easy build here so so salsa um color piece that you saw at the edge so that was a, that's a very cool build and over here at the corner i use i did a diagonal table build full of computers to give the room a more technical look and again this is one of my many different building techniques which i try to challenge myself and i'm really happy how it turned out in the center i have a normal three by six table build you can include ant-man and the wasp to Make it look like they're preparing for a new mission. For Wasp, I used Olivia's brown hair from Lego Friends to give her, to give her the minifigure set um, brown hair that she wears while the second Ant-Man movie. I don't know if that's really accurate enough. She normally doesn't wear it open, so I guess it's inaccurate, but... Um, in case you're wondering, this this little mark here is not necessarily accurate. Like, 90% of what you see is off the top of my head. So, yes. Like, 10% is from the movie. For example, the container. Or, I guess a table full of accessories would be part of that. But the computers, definitely. I definitely looked at the movies and built that to make it look accurate. And now let's move on to the next section of my mock. In the right hand corner I built a very cool stand for the Quantum Realm Explorer, which again I built diagonally just to make the room look more realistic. Let's take that off to look at the stand a bit more. So as you can see here, I used a lot of these um, 1 by 4 um plates that only have a stud on the edges to hold the quantum explorer to hold these pieces in place so when you place it on it's not gonna fall off that easily 
Over here I also include Ghost, who's trying to steal the Quantum Run Explorer for some reason. <laughs> and over here again, a very cool building technique. As you can see, I used these one by one, three of these one by one, one by two plates with these bars on them. Um, I don't know the, the actual name of these pieces, I sometimes just make them up. And I connected them with two of these one by two bricks. I built it curved so it looked um, really cool and interesting, but also because I wanted to challenge myself, as I said so often before. And by challenge, I mean uh, 30 minutes just sitting there stacking those pieces. So seriously, it took me like half an hour just to be able to connect that. Now it sticks in perfectly, but it really took me a long time just to connect it with the base plate. It would always fall off, or it would always disassemble if I try to connect it with a plate so I used this 1x2 jumper plate I believe that's how it's called and connected it with this little hole here so there it's a very easy connection and you can move it a little around and it also took a long time to connect this 2x3 so you can see so how I build it and see it's it's um, straight so it's not like this or um, upwards oops just Right, I have to put them back on nicely there. And it also took quite a long time to um, build it at a correct height so that the door would not slam against that little piece. There you can see it's not touching it in any form, but it's really close to the Continental Explorer. So Ant-Man could easily just walk over there and get into the Continental Explorer without anything bad happening or it hitting something. So yes, that was probably the biggest challenge of this mock. If you liked the video, hit the like button and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.